everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I've got a fun little treat box for you using the Friendly Fens bundle. This is a really fun bundle. I absolutely love the shark. I always say, who knew I needed a bundle or a stamp set with a hammerhead shark, but now that I have it, I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, lots of fun summery ocean project opportunities with this set. So of course, I had to get some gummy sharks and this little treat box. Um, I ordered my gummy sharks and the treat box actually from Amazon. I've already put the box together, but I'll have both of them linked today on my blog post. Um, these boxes are actually designed for handmade, um, popsicles, I guess. Um, that's what they showed in the picture, but these are gummy, um, gummy sharks, which my kids, my teenagers actually really like. So really all we're going to need to do is make a tag. So let's get started. Now I decided to use this piece of paper. This is from the Lily Pad Lane DSP. I think that's the right name, Lily Pad Lane. Um, it's the one with the ducks. And I thought that kind of looked like the ocean. So this is a uh, pretty peacock. So that's what I'm gonna use for my shark. Is the hammerhead shark really actually pretty peacock colored? No, but it's okay. I mean, you know, it's a cartoon. It's a little, it's a little stamp. All right, so you're gonna stamp the outline in um, memento black. And then, looking for my scratch paper, we're going to ink this up. This is called two-step stamping, when you stamp two different stamps together to make one image. And this is what I always call the fill-in image. And I'm gonna stamp off onto scratch paper because it, it's really dark. Um, Pretty Peacock is a dark color. So line that up and get that right there where it needs to go. Now I've, on my other videos for this bundle, I recommend that you try um, the way that I did, but then also try stamping this image first and then this one. Sometimes that works better to get them lined up for people. It's just a matter really, I think of preference. So of course you can try that. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Berry Burst. I wanted to use some of our new glimmer paper. We have this gorgeous, we have lots of glimmer paper right now, really pretty colors, and this is a Berry Burst glimmer paper. So we're gonna actually cut our coral, <laughs> our little swim through coral out of Berry Burst glimmer. And really we're only going to need um, about half of that shape. So if you're making multiples of these, maybe for party favors or something like that, you'll have um, enough, you'll have a half to, one, okay, what am I trying to say? One piece would uh, cover two tags. Words are hard sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put that there and I can see that I have a little bit of a little piece of cardstock hanging on there. Um, I'm also going to show you how to make the frame that goes on our tag. We'll do these first. Um, this, the sentiment is from the uh, postage rectangle dies. And then we've got our shark. We're going to line him up right there. Now, we need to make sure these don't move when we're running it through. So lay your plate down carefully and keep an eye on them because sometimes when you run your platform through, it does this popping and uh, the dies on the other side of the platform can kind of pop out of place. So go real slow and make sure that you, that doesn't happen. Okay, so get your, take your pick tool and just poke through one of these little holes. That's what the little holes are for on your dies to help you get them out. All right, there's our fun, bright and shimmery coral. There's our shark and our sentiment. All right, so now how about the tag? Can you see how I kind of wanted it to look like maybe an aquarium? So I made this little um, frame, if you will. I used the largest stylus shape circle to cut out the DSP. So now I'm gonna use the largest shape stylus shape circle and the next largest and just set it down in there like that. And this is going to, whoops, mine just slipped. You wanna make sure they're nice and centered. You can also use your post-it tape or post-it note to hold these in place while you run them through. And then you have, 
you're going to have that. We're not going to use that, so save that for something else. Um, and then there's your frame. Okay, so let's get our adhesive. I think I'm going to use some dimensionals and liquid glue. You're also going to want adhesive, foam adhesive strips, which work really, really well. And I, for our frame, now you could also make this a shaker. It is not a shaker but it kind of looks like it could be a shaker. All right, I've put glue on just this half and I'm gonna set this down about like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take my paper snips and just snip that off. And now you could use this on another tag if you wanted. All right, so now we've got that. Now for our frame, I'm gonna take one of our foam adhesive strips and I'm just going to go around and this frame is pretty narrow so I want to try to get my foam strip right in the middle so that I won't be able to see it popping out on the sides. It's a little bit tedious but just go slow and go all the way around until you get you bump up to the next piece or the end of the the end of your piece. And look at that, it almost is a perfect fit. Now I'm not too worried about them touching exactly. If we were making a shaker, we would need to make sure that those touched so that our little shaker things did not come out. All right, so remove the backing and then you're just gonna set that on there. Creates some dimension. Okay, so now grab your dimensionals. And we're gonna put this guy, and since we already have one layer of dimensionals, I'm actually gonna stack two dimensionals right here on him so that he's a little bit taller, a little bit, sticks up a little bit further than that frame, okay? Like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on, we wanna do this on the left edge, two dimensionals so it's a little bit higher and we're going to put that right there. Okay, now once you've got your box put together and you've got your gummy sharks in there, I am using Pretty Peacock Ribbon, Pretty Peacock and Gold. And I'm going to tie a bow up here at the top. Like that. You want to cut off those ends at an angle. Then I'm gonna take a hole punch and punch a hole right here in the top of our tag, right there, and grab some twine, baker's twine. Oh no, I don't have my baker's twine here. I thought I did. Okay, we'll use linen thread. I do have some linen thread. I'm gonna thread that through let's just cut that off and then you're going to tie this you're going to take this end and slide it under your bow okay and tie that right there to the bow so the recipient can just slide that ribbon off they don't even have to untie it they can slide that ribbon off and everything will stay intact now i did want to add some bubbles to my tag, hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna use our uh, pearlized enamel effects. And you just wanna make little dots and I pull straight up. It kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss when you're done, but it dries into like a perfect little ball. All right, we'll put some bubbles over here too. And there we go. Now let that sit for a while because it will take a good 30 minutes to dry. All right, you guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this pretty easy project. I have two other um, Friendly Fins project videos. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There's a free uh, PDF for you. And let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping. Bye, everybody.